welcome to episode two of the Gladiator Fit Philosophies YouTube channel and podcast. Now, I'm excited about today. <laughs> We're going to talk about the benefits of coffee on fitness. And, you know, before I discuss all the empirical research, I will say, spoiler alert, there are immense benefits of coffee. It's unbelievable. I didn't realize until I looked at the empirical data, but I almost want to consider coffee a superfood you know, kind of like turmeric that have multiple different health benefits on both sexes. Now, think about this picture in your head right now. As we're speaking, approximately 321 million Americans consume 66 billion cups of coffee on average uh, three cups per day. That's annually. Think about how much coffee that is just consumed here in the United States. Now, there's a lot of people who will say things. I'm sure I could already hear some of the, some of the, you know, skeptical people. Uh, and I don't blame them because there's a lot of misinformation, but I know, I know there's some people on here that are probably thinking, Oh, I heard coffee, you know, it's bad for your blood pressure. It, uh, you know, it, it will, it will dehydrate you and you, you know, you'll get dependent on it. And Honestly, whenever you hear myths and, and uh, you know, half-truths, it's best to cut through the noise with the studies. And I'm going to start with the first one. This is called the EPIC study, um, the European Perspective Investigation in Cancer Nutrition Study. It was conducted with 451,000 participants, including 130,000 males with 321,000 women. And this was done in 10 European countries over the span of 16 years years. I put the study in the description because you could obviously get more details, but I'm going to I'm going to summarize the findings. In the Epic study, they found that men who drink more than 3 or more cups per day had a 12% lower all-cause mortality than non-coffee drinkers. And women who drank more than 3 cups of coffee per day had a 7% lower all-cause mortality. Now, in terms of cause-specific mortality, men who drank more than three cups of coffee had a 59% lower risk of digestive disease mortalities than men who drank less than one cup per day or none at all. Women who drank more than three cups of coffee had a 40% disease reduction. That is very impressive. And frankly, you know, European studies and their, you know, approaches to health are much better than the United States. You know, so I will say that I'm going to reference another study because this was obviously a European study and it was done on European people in European countries. So we want to see how coffee holds up with other types of races, which is why I reference the multi-ethnic cohort study, which was done in the University of Ohio. It's in the same journal. So this study was done with uh, Latino, Japanese, Hawaiian, black and white and the study was done for 16 years to check all-cause mortalities. And they linked higher coffee consumption with lower risk of death in black, Japanese, white, Latinos, every ethnic group, basically. The higher coffee intake was also linked to lower cause death from disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, and kidney disease. And the, the results were studied on a basis of three to cup, three to five cups of coffee per day. So listen, anyone can overdo it, okay? And if you're one of those people that like to drink a venti, mocha, frappa, lappa, um, what is it, pumpkin spice, you know, Natalie's latte, it's not going to have any health benefits and it's going to be detrimental. And, you know, the the studies were done on basically black coffee, but you, you, you could be fine with a little bit of grass-fed uh, uh, cream and maybe raw honey. Um, these studies were not done with, you know, heavily sugared coffee. So I just want to, you know, remind you guys of that. So the studies were done with, you know, moderate use. And, you know, if you could always overdo anything. If you do exceed three to five cups of coffee, there can be some undesirable effects depending on the individual. And let me remind you, every person reacts differently to coffee. So, you know, if you get really jittery, you know, you may want to have you know, less than what the average person drinks or, or uh, consumes. But coffee also stimulates cognition and it also increases your metabolism and it can help with elimination. <laughs> Anyone who knows who drinks coffee, you know, you're probably going to have to use the bathroom within a few hours. It can also help uh, curb your appetite and it, it's a natural appetite suppressant. And I want to remind people, you know, if you're doing intermittent fasting, um, 
you could drink black coffee with no sugar or cream and it'll keep you in that state that fasted state and it could also help with fasting because it helps uh stroke away the you know, hunger crate. And I also will say that coffee has shown in some studies to help increase testosterone and coffee is naturally high in antioxidants. And, you know, when you look at the benefits, a lot of it is the polyphenols in the coffee because they also show benefits in decaffeinated coffee. <laughs> I hope this encourages you to drink more coffee, frankly, and not overdo it. And if you are drinking cups, you know, three to five cups of coffee every day, you are improving your health and you're giving your body, you know, a chance to you know improve its physiology i uh appreciate you guys staying tuned um if you enjoyed this content if it brought you value you know give this video a like and a subscribe and you know even leave a comment to encourage discussion you know i'm always going to be bringing the heat you know this is gladiator fit philosophy you know we're here to discuss you know exercises and nutrition you know to make you you know the best version uh the most uh, athletic version and the most healthy version of yourself so much love and uh i'll see you soon